Hi guys. Hope you're doing well. Finally, I'm here in Isfahan. I'll be a guest of this beautiful city for a few days. I hope I can record beautiful videos of the city for you guys. The first place that you should definitely visit in Isfahan. Certainly is Nakshi Jahan Square. Let's go and check it out together. Nakshi Jahan Square in terms of size and grandeur and the importance of the buildings around it is considered one of the most important historical squares in the world. There are important buildings around this square, such as Ali Kapu Palace in the west, Shah Mosque on the south side, Sheikh Latif Allah Mosque on the eastern side, and Gizare Gate is situated on the northern side of this square. In addition to these buildings, there are 202 story shops all around the square. Before the Safavid era, there was a beautiful garden here, called Nakshi Jahan, which included military buildings from the Timurid Empire. The first foundation of this square was built in 1602 during Safavid Shah Abbas I. And as time passed until 1616, they continued to finish the square and other buildings around it. Ali Akbar Isfahani designed this square who was known as the Grand Architect of Safavid Royal Court. Nakshi Jahan Square used to have multiple applications in its time of glory. Official ceremonies and military parades, religious rituals and ceremonies, national celebrations and holidays were held here, and also polo and fireworks were done in the square. In 1979, Nakshi Jahan Square was inscribed on the UNESCO's World Heritage List. There are still two stone polo gates standing here from the Safavid era, which are situated on the north and south sides of the square. Okay guys. Let's go inside Ali Gapu Palace and see what's inside it together. Then we'll go in Sheikh Latfala Mosque. And then Shah Mosque which is also called Imam Mosque now. Ali Gapu Palace is one of the architectural wonders of the Safavid era and it was built by decree of Shah Abbas I. The palace is 48 meters high and it is kind of considered as the first Iranian skyscraper. Ali Gapu means glorious gate in Turkish language. Ali Kapu's building was built, in five stages, starting from 1602, the same time as Nakshi Jahan Square. In 1617, they needed more space, so they added some mass to the original building, which transformed the building, from a simple entrance, to a ceremonial palace. In 1624, the last floor the music hall was designed and built on the lower hall. These three stages were done in Safavid Shah Abbas the first era. In 1643, during Shah Abbas the second era, because the balcony of the third floor didn't have good view on the square, another mass was built in front of the existing building inside the square, and they'd put a copper pool in the center of it. And in the last stage, in 1644, they decided to build a columned chamber to make the mansion more glorious, and this new balcony was built in less than a year. And also an additional stairway was added, that is more structured and it's what this building deserves. Now let's go ahead and see more. This stairway was built so royal people could get to the upper floors and meet Safavid kings. And they also constructed some rooms in the corridors on different floors, so people can wait in these rooms when the upper floors are busy.
Safavid kings sat on this balcony to watch polo matches, fireworks, military parades, and other glorious ceremonies held in this square. Eighteen plantain wooden columns, which were covered by mirrors in Safavid era, are holding up the ceiling of this balcony which is decorated with carvings and paintings. Paintings in this hall are some of the most important works by Reza Abbasi, one of the painters during the Safavid period. Ali Gapu was used as a multi-purpose building by Safavid kings, it acted as a castle between the public passageway of Nakshi Jahan Square and Haram and inner quarters of the royal palaces, which were scattered behind Ali Gapu towards the Shaharba Boulevard. Okay. We just experienced Ali Gapu together, now let's head towards Sheikh Latfala Mosque. It was rumored that, from Ali Gapu to Sheikh Latfala Mosque, there is an underground tunnel so that the royal family can go there secretly to say their prayers. But then some archaeological research and exploration was done that showed these rumors were unfounded. Let's go and visit the mosque. Sheikh Latfala was an Islamic Lebanese theologian in the Safavid era. Shah Abbas I invited him to Isfahan to teach and be the Imam of Friday prayer. And after Sheikh got to Isfahan and the king married to his daughter, after that, this Safavid king ordered his people to build this mosque. Before finishing the building, its beautiful gate and portal was built in 1604. interior side of the dome is richly covered with tiles, its quality is unrivaled, and these seven colored tiles are only used in the entrance lobby and some parts of the portal. Some of the inscription here was done by Alareza Abbasi, who was a prominent Persian calligrapher in the Safavid era. The pattern under the dome inspired Safavid era fabrics, which are still available in quantity. This mosque doesn't have a minaret, a san and four iwans which are always present in Iranian mosques. This shows that this mosque was not built so normal people can pray there. Building the Shah Mosque was started in 1612, and it took nearly 18 years to complete it. In order to decorate and finish the face of Nakshi Jahan Square in 1617, as they were still constructing the foundation the main parts of the mosque, they first built the entrance and portal with pattern tiles. In contrast to Seljuk mosques, which only decorated some parts with tiles, here all surface on the walls are covered with patterned and seven colored tiles. It is said that 18 million bricks and 472,500 pieces of tile were used in this mosque.
The dome is 54 meters high, and it's the biggest double-shelled dome in Isfahan. The main reason for being double-shelled is keeping the beautiful symmetry from both inside and outside. If you stand right under the dome, that is indicated by a darker stone, and speak or call out, you will hear your own voice in seven reflections. Okay guys, now let's ride on a horse and buggy and move around in the score a little, and experience, how it was back then, and how hard it was. We are now moving on cobblestone though, back then, it was just unpaved surfaces with dust and rocks. Let's go have a ride. It's really great. If you come to Isfahan, make sure to get on these rides, it's very cool. It's not exactly like how it was centuries ago, but it's still good. It's really amazing here at nights. I'll make sure to come back here at night, to capture more footage, and you just sit there, and keep watching until the end. Let's go and come back at night time. Okay guys, we're back at Nakshi Jahan again. It's much cooler now, and there are so many people here, it's really crowded. I'm waiting for it to get more dark, so they would turn on the lights. But let's record some videos before that, and see how those turn out. This is Gizare Cafe, and you can have an amazing view of Nakshi Jahan Square. Okay guys, now I'm in Gizare Cafe. On top of Nakshi Jahan Square, with a very awesome view. I hope you liked this video as well. Don't forget to like the video and leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click on that red subscribe button. Thanks a lot, I'll see you in the next videos.